Hello there, Press Pause listeners. Sadly, this is the last of our mini-series of podcasts in the run-up to WordCamp Europe. In one way, that's really sad. I've really enjoyed working with Mika from WPMU Dev, and hopefully in the future we can find other ways to collaborate. Another way to look at it, though, is that the ending of this series means that WordCamp Europe is just about to begin, and WordCamps is what this entire project has been about. We've tried to bring you stories from a whole variety of wordpressers. Some of them have been funny, others thought-provoking, but the message has always been the same. Attending WordCamps can be a great way to meet new people and reconnect with others. Sure, you could view WordCamp as an event about WordPress, the code, the plugins and the themes, but it's so much more than that. At its heart, WordPress is about people and the interactions that they have. Often those interactions are distributed, carried out in emails or Slack, and WordCamp is a chance for you to meet those people in person, face to face, to get to know them and see the whole of them as they truly are in real life. But before we get to the end, we've got one more show to do. So let's get on with it. This edition of Press Pause is brought to you by Green Geeks. Green Geeks offers an awesome managed web hosting platform that's built for speed, security and scalability, whilst being environmentally friendly. Enjoy a better web hosting experience for your WordPress website with Green Geeks. Throughout this series, we've talked about how fantastic WordCamps are. We've had stories from all walks of life and perspectives. Some have been funny, others serious, but they've all revolved around the amazing things that can happen during a WordCamp. Today though, we have something different, unique. Today we hear about one man's journey to a WordCamp. A long journey. A really long journey. On foot. Uh, My name is Marcel Bootsman. I live in the Netherlands in a small town, Berkel and Roderijs, which is near Rotterdam, that most people might know as being a big port, uh, one of the big ports in the world. I got in touch with WordPress in 2009. Uh, That was also the year that I founded my uh, my company, which is called Nostromo. And um, yeah, I immediately... Well, fell in love with WordPress is a bit is a bit uh, far, but I tested a few CMSs I wanted to use for my clients, and WordPress like yeah, stood out of the rest uh, with ease of use and also documentation and ease of extending and changing and uh, yeah, that basically uh, uh, put my mind to WordPress, and uh, that's been now uh, ten years ago. So actually, four days ago, I had my ten year anniversary of my company. And uh, couldn't really celebrate it because I'm walking on my own here in uh, in Germany. Uh, yeah, that's basically my story. Yeah, I believe it was 2010 that I, in, in for some reason, thought that, hey, I'm using this free software and there's all kinds of people working on this in their own time uh, or sponsored by their companies, of course. And I was like, it doesn't feel right to just use it and make money of it. And I wanted to do something back, as in contribute in any sort of form. So I was doing some Googling and I saw that there was a Dutch uh, WordPress community also. And they organized WordCamp Netherlands. And that that was actually my first WordCamp uh, in 2010, WordCamp Netherlands. I had to pull myself out of my comfort zone because I I was used to working alone in my own office and, of course, go to customers and talk with them, but not meet other people that are doing the same thing with WordPress. So I went to this WordCamp. I immediately felt welcome and I met a lot of great people, which I still know uh, right now and still meet up on meetups or word camps or uh, somewhere in between when we just uh, make appointments and talk with each other that really well changed my career to say it like that in, in in the wordpress area because that launched a whole bunch of contributing things that i've done 
I've got a I've got a rather extended track record of doing uh, contributions. Uh, it started out as uh, well translating, uh, which is what I still think is the the has a really small uh, it's a really small step to start doing that, and it's really accessible for everybody. And yeah, then you get to meet other people who do the translating. You get to meet the editors, and then in the end, I got also a global uh, translation editor for the Dutch language. Um, I helped out in the forums, um, and then when I saw that there was another WordCamp Netherlands organized, uh, I was asked if I could help organize the um, uh, the volunteers, to be a volunteer manager. Uh, so I did that. I promoted between quotes to being the lead lead organizer for WordCamp Netherlands 2016. Um, I helped organize WordCamp Europe, the first one in Leiden. That was in 2013, so I was in the first team that uh, that organized that. I was a volunteer manager there also, and it was yeah amazing because you meet well, in, in, in WordCamp Netherlands uh, community. I learned a lot of people already. I met a lot of lo- people, sorry. And doing an, a European conference really well gave me the opportunity to meet so many more people that I well still know now, and it's it's just been a great ride until now, and it still is. So we can see that Marcel has a long and rich history helping out with the WordPress community and WordCamps in particular. You could describe him as keen. Marcel told us that he lives in the Netherlands, but he was not in the Netherlands when we spoke. Yeah, I am in uh, in Wolfsburg in Germany. I got here by foot, so uh, I, I walked here. I've been walking for 475 kilometers right now. Yeah, I've started in my hometown, which is Berkhorn Ber- Roderijs, uh, near Rotterdam. And I really just, uh, well, there was some family at home and, of course, my wife and children to say goodbye to me. And I just, well, walked out the front door and said, see you all in Germany. I'm walking to Berlin and uh, that's, of course, the location of, uh, of WordCamp Europe this year. So Marcel is walking from his own front door to WordCamp Europe. This is no mean feat. That's 465 miles, or 750 kilometers in total. Yeah, that sounds really crazy, but yes, I am. Yeah, I'm a bit further than halfway. Um, I I had to uh, I had to cancel a few stages because I had a a minor injury on my right leg, uh, my ankle to be precise, which at the end did not prove to be an injury but just an overloading of my ankle, which is totally fine right now. So I had to skip a few stages. Uh, so I'm probably going to be walking 700 kilometers in total uh, because I've done a few uh, done one stage by train and. I believe two stages. I, I cancelled them after about ten kilometers, and all the rest I uh, I walked completely. And uh, I think that I'm going to walk all the rest that's left too. I've got nine stages left, and uh, in a bit more days I got eleven days. So I've got two resting days also in between. And um, yeah, I'm totally confident that I'm uh, that I'm gonna make it. Yeah, I arrive on the 19th, the 19th, which is the day before Contributor Day. I'm going to be accompanied by by Kasper Hubinger, who is uh, providing the the last sleepover place before I uh, I get to the the Estrel, where the where the venue is for WordCamp Europe. So I have a, a half day and a night to recover of that last few stages and then uh, start WordCamp Europe. I'm sure that we all like walking, to some extent, but this is a huge walk. And as we've heard, it's had a physical toll. So what's the point of doing this? Is it a personal journey? Or perhaps it's raising money for a good cause? It's actually both. I got the idea uh, when I was, well, it was probably, yeah, it was also a year back, also on the 4th of June, when I had this idea. And I cannot really put my finger on what caused the idea to happen in my head. Uh, but we've done all preparations for uh, going to uh, WordCamp Europe in Belgrade. Uh, we made all travel arrangements, booked a hotel and stuff. And then I got the idea, okay, maybe I could walk to the next edition of WordCamp Europe, not knowing 
where it would be because that's announced at the end of a, uh, a WordCamp Europe. And my wife was like looking at me as if I was crazy. And after a few minutes, she said, well, that might be a cool idea. And um, uh, we, we can plan something around it and uh, you can start arranging that. So then after a few days, I got a, I got an injured knee just out of nothing. And I couldn't, I couldn't move for, for one and a half weeks. And I got antibiotics and we had to cancel our trip to Belgrade, which was really sad. And then there was announced that the next location for WordCamp Europe would be Word, uh, would be in Berlin. I thought, okay, that's that's not very far. Could have been in Rome or in Greece or uh, wherever. And this is uh, well, 700 and so kilometers, and I can do that. And I started planning and also think about why I would do it. And one of the arguments that I'm doing it is is to to test myself to see what I am capable of and what my body is capable of, and also because I saw that it was getting some attention in the WordPress community, I thought, okay, well, maybe I should just use this attention to do something more and raise money for something I didn't yet know what for. And quickly, the the foundation Donate WC came to mind, which is a foundation that helps people get to WordCamps uh, and contribute to WordPress um, when they do not have the financial uh, means to do so. Uh, a perfect goal for me to start raising money for. Yeah, Donate WC is a, is a foundation which I'm not affiliated with in any way. And they uh, accept proposals from people who want to go to a WordCamp, preferably a local one, but then you might also need to go travel and book a hotel. And there are people in, in, in the WordPress community worldwide that are, well, not as financially strong as, as others. And they do not have a company that backs them up. So they have to pay everything from from their own wallet, and well, sometimes that's not enough, and so they can't come to a WordCamp. And it's it's not just for people who want to attend; uh, it's really for people who want to contribute. So give a presentation or help organize, uh, be a volunteer. Uh, you have to really contribute to the WordPress project and uh, in the form of doing something for a WordCamp. Well, then the the this mission is uh, being uh, uh, judged and selected, and then people get their uh, their refunds for their travel costs. What a perfect fit! Marcel is walking to WordCamp whilst raising money for Donate WC, a charity helping to offset the cost of getting people to WordCamps. I asked Marcel if he'd had any highlights thus far on the trip that he'd like to share. I'm pleased with everything I'm I'm doing right now. I, I meet all kinds of new people, um, make new friends, uh, also meet people that are uh, or that I already knew in the WordPress community, and they offered me a place to sleep. Uh, I've seen amazing things. Uh, you can see though in in my blogs and in my um, in in the in the uh, the photos I took. Uh, but it's just you're walking. I'm walking 700 plus kilometers and I, I don't see any highways. So I see a lot of the countryside, both in the Netherlands and in Germany, that you normally wouldn't see. If you if you go by car to Berlin, for instance, or by train, you just, well, you, you, you whoosh through the country and uh, you're in Berlin and you get to notice what's all around you. And there's so many beautiful things, nature and uh, silence and sometimes I just hear birds and I don't see any people for two three hours and it's uh, it's it's amazing and one of the the best things that happened so far was I was going to Bad Bentheim which was the first city in Germany uh, after the, the the border and my family came and visited me there and it was really great to see them again after one week of walking I really increased my my pace in the last few kilometers because I really really wanted to see them and my wife sent me a message like, are you running because you're going, you're going so fast because we had GPS tracking on. And I was like, I'm not running, but I'm going fast because I really want to see you. And uh, the route, I had a, a couple of more surprises. My parents came to visit me in Hanover. Uh, they, didn't, uh, they didn't say that they were going to do that. So that was a nice surprise. And now here in Wolfsburg, uh, I had two friends coming uh, as a surprise yesterday. And we had dinner and um, yeah, that's also a great thing that, that you get to a lot of motivation about yeah, this, that people start visiting you and to show their support. So we've learned that Marcel is deeply committed to WordPress and WordCamps. I wondered if he had a favorite story out of all the events that he's ever attended. 
It was my uh, my first WordCamp Netherlands, and um, what I basically told here at the uh, at the start of the uh, interview that when I got there, I really had to pull myself in and get out of my bubble. And uh, I walked in, and I also followed a few people on Twitter already, and I was followed back. I walked in, and there was this tall guy, a big guy called Remkes de Vries. And you might heard of the name or even know him. And he saw me and he said, hey, Nostromo. And that was my company name and also my Twitter name, which I've changed to just my personal name now. That kind of broke the ice, as we say, and uh, made me feel welcome. And he introduced me to a few people. And well, then the whole WordPress contributing thing started rolling. I wanted to make sure that we return to the charity that Marcel has chosen, Donate WC. Yes, definitely. I don't know how long it will stay live, but uh, maybe there is other people there are going to be inspired to do this and maybe they could reuse the URL or uh, I can add another year or, you know, all the Word- WordPress is really flexible in, in turning one single site into a multi-site. So there's all kinds of possibilities there. Um, the website is walk2wc.eu and um, there's a, a nice menu up there with a big donate button and you can read all about my, my blogs in the news section. You can see my route and uh, where I am on the map. Well, as soon as I've finished, I am, um, I'm, I'm also giving a presentation on, uh, on WordCamp Europe on, on Saturday. Uh, about this trip and I will uh, announce the uh, well the final amount of money that has been donated um, which of course is not it's not going to be closed then because if people are in the audience and they still want to donate that's of course very welcome but I just want to announce the the, the final the, the sort of subtotal of all donations on stage so there you go word camps are great There's lots to do, lots to see, friends to make and reconnect with. You've just got to take the first step and buy your ticket. I know that this series has referred time and again to WordCamp Europe, but that's not important. It was just the WordCamp that was around the corner when this series was created. So no matter when you listen to this, there will be another WordCamp just around the corner perhaps closer to home than you think. So go search one out, plan to go, and see what happens. The Press Forward podcast is a production of WP and Up. This mini-series is a collaborative effort by WPMU Dev and WP and Up. Mika Daly and me, Nathan Wrigley, produced this episode, and Mika created the original score. A special thanks to Marcel today for chatting with me. And thanks to you for listening. And remember that together we can press forward.